right, all right, all right. So, um, yeah, so I had uh, dropped this um, uh, right when I drew the trend lines on my hour four chart, this chart here, and then I came back and I added it. I was sending it, sending it to you all, and this was the trend line. Um, and then this is where it was a great entry. That's when I told you all buy. But this trend line, you all should have. If you if you don't have it, please reach out to me. I really want to look at this. I, I want to protect this. I'm going to take a partial. I really want to get you all going on those trend lines so that you can take these moves and identify them. So this was a trend line break. It retested. It broke again. I got an early on the original break. I thought it was going to run. It did run a little few pips. I could have taken partials. It came back up and retested this level. And now it's shooting down. And this is where you know the power is with um, you know the trend line and you guys being present in the charts with you know, running the technology that I'm giving you. So if you have those trend lines, or if you or if you don't, first, if you don't, I wanna understand why, and then how can we get you guys up running these trend lines? And then if you do have them, I wanna understand, you know, why did you not take the trade? I do know some people that work and things like that. So I definitely, that's definitely understandable. But if you're trading it, we need to understand why are you not <laughs> taking this trade when it's doing a break and a retest? Like it was a lot of good break and retests here to really confirm it. I got an early, but you could have gotten in at this point after it wicked up and then, you know, rejected this trend line, you know, did not, um, you know, rejected and continued. So there was many opportunities for us to even get in on this trend line. I don't care if this knocks me out. I'm, you know, I've made money already. Um, uh, and I still have my runners up here. So if this knocks me out, cool, I don't care. Um, but, you know, that's how I trade it all the time, as you all know. So that's my thing. I just want to know, I want us to really be making moves. And if you're, if you're just watching, I recommend let's get you a demo account and start to learn practically how to, you know, technically how to and functionally how to enter these trades in and out. Super duper important for, for us as a community to make sure that we are, you know, rocking and rolling and, and everyone is, uh, you know, at the same level, right? Because when we're taking these trades, if you're not taking these trades, but you understand it conceptually, then when you're ready to trade, you're gonna have to now get familiar with MetaTrader 4 and, and the buttons and what to click. So you all should be all practicing this. Everyone should be in these trades. Um, uh, I mean, that's where you're gonna get the bang for your dollar, right? Where you're gonna really learn how to trade. You know, it's like learning how to, you know, I don't know, practice law, right? You learn it in a, in, a, in, a, in a textbook, but in the courtroom may be totally different how things go down, right? So you've got to be in practice, you know, continuously. But I hope you all, uh, for those that do have the trend lines that you, you know, this one was the one that you've had since this morning. This one up top here is one that I just added and I was gonna communicate, but I dropped and said, hey, now, you know, um, and hopefully you all did that. Um, so let's see what happens. We're approaching nine o'clock. This is a lightning bolt. So I'm expecting this is going to shoot up because usually nine o'clock is a reversal of a trend. But once again, this is still a major, a strong push down. So there's really no telling which way it's going to go. But, um, you know, we're going to we're going to watch and we're going to see, uh, you know, what happens and how how this thing moves. Um, right now, my account is up uh, because of this move. This is the move that we were waiting for. So my Count is up for today, and once again, I'm going small lots, and you know, and taking uh, uh, profits quick. So right now, my account is up fourteen hundred dollars. Um, you know, here it is right here, and I can show you this because there's no balance on it. But here it is, fourteen hundred dollars for today's trades. This is only today's trades, fourteen hundred dollars. Every and yeah, closed out and knocked me out, uh, eight bucks loss, but it's fourteen hundred dollars on all the trades that I took today. You know, if you look at the date, it's all today. So same trades that I walked you all through are the same trades that I'm actually taking. I'm not gonna walk you through a trade that I don't take. And yeah, here you have it. So you all should be up in your um, accounts if you're trading uh, you know, the way I'm trading or, or taking my trades at least. Um, let's see here. So it's, lightning, it's a lightning bolt. I mean, this zone is so wide. So once again, you remember when I say, hey, you know, you got to live in your settings. You got to change your settings. This is such a wide zone. I don't know if there's another smaller zone here because price just pushed away so fast that now I really want to go in and check my zones. This is another light, uh, a rejection. I'm up so much. I'm going to take this sell because it's a, another test of this level. Um, it could very well push up and knock me out. But, you know, once again, you saw that I'm up in uh, profit and also my runners that I have from up top here are covering the cost of this this new trade. So these trades, 
these trades that I'm still in up here, they're going to cover any any drawdown that I may have here. And then I could close it out and break even or maybe a few bucks, you know, maybe 100 or 200 bucks in the negative. And it's still fine. I'm still running well. So, you know, you always want to have those runners to, I like to use them to cover the cost of my next entry. Even if it was a reversal entry and not in the same direction as my runner, that runner is running profit, it's equity that I like to use to pay for my next entry. So hopefully, you know, um, you know, that's something, that's a strategy you all should, oh, you should always have a runner running um, as much as you can until you exit the trade because you believe the trade is completely done, right? Um, of course, I'll close out, but I'm always looking for re-entries. So we'll see if it respects this 20 and this trend line to continue to push down. But it pushed down a lot already. I mean, it's pushed down 220 pips. So if we were in this, when I got in from this point here down uh, to here, you know, that's 242 pips. You can see my screen. That's 242 pips made right then and there on those moves. So that was big. That was a great, great, great move. And those are the pushes that we like to see with the trend line breaks. We like to see a nice, solid push. So once again, back to this point where I don't have any zones, I've got to go on my settings. I want to create zones because I need to see what the heck is going on, right? So I'm going to change my draw from, I'm going to start drawing zones from 5,000 bars back instead of 1,000. I think I had it at 800. And I want to draw my zones because I want to see what the hell is going on, where price is at right now. So I'm redrawing my zones and we'll see what happens if it redraws them. So you see, now I'm getting a better zone. So I could drop back down to the one minute and I can see, okay, you know what? This zone is actually in favor of me, right? Because price could come up, but price has got to push through this whole zone too. So that gives me more confidence and confidence that price will move down. Yeah. It could still push up, but at least I know I have a marker here on where I can exit, where there's going to be a level of resistance, so, you know, some sort of, you know, activity. <laughs> so that's how I go in and out my, I'm glad you all saw that. That's how I go in and out my settings quickly. Um, to make to change so that I can make sure I, to make change, make changes to my settings so I can see zones. Once again, this zone wasn't there; it was just a straight run, and I don't like to be in a trade where I just have a straight run and I don't know where I'm at. So that's why I readjusted my zones so that I can see what zone is there. And since I changed it from 800 bars back to 5,000 bars back, it found a swing low or swing high, and it repainted this zone for me. So that gives me confidence. So my positions are running still. I'm up a few hundred dollars in runners. Um, regardless, even if this position goes in the negative, I should still be up or I'll close all positions at break even. Um, if price can move down a little bit further, I'm going to protect this position. Or at least what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my positions, my, uh, my settings, and I'm going to say this partial mode, I'm going to change most recent order. So when I take a partial, I'm not taking it from my runners up top. I want them to stay whole. And I'm only going to take a partial from just this position here. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take a partial. I took it and I'm protecting. And it only took a partial on this last position and not my positions up here. That's why when I took the partial, you saw I drew a line from my entry here. It didn't draw a line from here all the way down. So that's just allowing me to keep my positions intact, my earlier positions intact. I'm going to change it back to all positions. And now if I take a partial, it's going to partial all, pos all positions when I'm ready. So this was a great trend. We're at the 9.04, you know, we're at, you know, four minutes into the lunch hour. I would expect a reversal of some sort. And I'm seeing, um, let's see, is there, uh, yeah, I'm seeing right here, uh, hidden divergence here um, on the five minutes. You see prices going lower from this point you see that little line there from this down. So price is moving lower all while um, RSI, the, trend, the line is funny, but the RSI is actually moving up. So that is uh, a divergent line. Also on the one minute, I have some divergence, but that pushed up already a little bit. So I'm not, there's no telling. I don't, I don't know if it's really gonna push up, right? Um, uh, uh, but we have the buy signal, so we'll see, but I'm still protected. I've already taken partials out of that position and I'm good either way. Counters are now up. When I took that partial, it gave me like another 86 bucks. So I'm up $1,500, as you can see here. $1,500 is my profit for the day on the trades that we took together. Right? These trades started from this morning. These were not my London trades. This was as of this morning. So this is super. Um, I wish it didn't knock me out, actually, at this point, because I believe it could still push down. But now I'm not going to re-enter because I've got to buy. If it comes up to this level again and then shows me some rejection, great. But keep in mind, I am still in this trade from up top. And these are very, very small positions. 
but still, it's still a few hundred bucks. I only, I'm, I have like what, 0.06 of, I'm at a 0.12 total between the two positions, you know, which is nothing, but I mean, it's, it's still giving me $300 right now in runners. So I'm okay with that. Um, I'm super okay with that. Let's, see, let's maximize this. Like this. And there we have it. So I wanted to just show you all this one that because we were at this trend line, I wanted, I really wanted to demonstrate how you guys should enter this trend line, um, you know, this entry. But, you know, if you notice, once again, you know, price broke this line. Let me just zoom this in a little bit more. Uh, oh, shit. Move this up here. Eight. Boom, boom. There we go. Right. There we go. So price broke this trend line. If you can see this, if you can trace this trend line back, this is the trend line. I'll just draw it here. This is the trend line. Price broke, right? It retested this zone. And so for me, it was great because it broke this zone here and the trend line. It retested, it broke, it retested. It then you know broke again. So this would have been a great entry. I got an early though here at this point. So I wrote it down from here to there. So if you all have these trend lines, this was a great setup for you to enter on a break, retest, and continue, right? So it's a break, retest, and continue. So that's how you should have, or you you, you would have taken that trade. Um, and there you have it. I, you know, I just wanted to share, I was excited about that particular move and, and how things played out. It was like a, a, a cookie cutter, you know, to the book move here, and it, and it played out well, and it can continue to play. If I were to target this, let me see if there's like a target. Uh, let me clear all this stuff out. Let's see where we think price could go. Right, wow, this is great. So at this, wow. So at this point, like I don't have zones. I don't have any zones in these areas, which I don't like, but if I had to guess, um, and I say guess because we don't know, right? In the markets, we don't know. We just, we just you know, react. Mm -hmm. You know, on a longer trend, price could really actually move all the way down, you know, from here to here. Yeah, another 280 pips. I could really move down to this level, this 32, uh, 32888. But for a shorter trend, it's probably going to move down to this zone here. This is another little zone here at this level, at this level here. So price could, I would target probably this level here at, at 33,000. That may be the next move. Or if you wanted to be super conservative, you could go to the top of the zone here at 33,100. That would be my, you know, my, my thought in which where, where it would go. So there you have it. I mean, that was a great, great move. And, you know, um, was there anyone that took this trade or uh, are there any other trades that you all want to talk about or, you know, let me know. Okay, cool. If I see anything uh, uh, exciting, I'm going to drop another link. I want to just jump on and talk about it. I'm going to once again update these. Hopefully the market doesn't move as fast as it did and I can uh, update some trend lines and drop it out for you guys um, so that you can, you know, at, at least have some time to load it and then, you know, see it play out. And what I'm thinking of doing with these trend lines is I'm just thinking of just automating of this, this so that, that if you want to, you can just, you know, say, hey, you want to auto trade it and um, you can put in like a buffer between, you know, the break and maybe you can say, hey, on just a, just a break plus 10 pips or whatever pips or a break retest plus 10 pips. So you can see I can code it where it could be a break, a retest and continuation of a certain amount of pips and then get you in that trade. And then we can have set stop, stop losses. So I may even take this week and just to code it since trend lines is now something that I'm introducing to the community um, along with the lightning boss. This might be something that we can just automate because usually trend lines are something that are targeted a little bit further out. And sometimes you're not around the chart. So if you're seeing lightning boss, you're in the chart and you should be trading it real time. But lots of times with trend lines, it's something that could be, you know, a little bit further out and you want to just, you know, um, let it run. Okay, cool. Thanks, Aaron, for that input. Yeah. So I may add that and, you know, we will, you know, we'll, we'll, We'll let it rock. We'll run in it and let it rock. Because for these trades, I like what I'll do is in the evening time, I will set my stop losses. But once again, the stop loss is just a break, right? There's no logic behind it. It's just price touched that point and continued. So, but if we can add some smart logic around it, where if it's a break retest, 
and it can give us that cookie cutter move we like, then, you know, that's even more conservative for us. And then we can move forward. I like to trade conservatively. So it sounds wild, right? That a, a scalper likes to trade conservatively, but actually I do, you know, I like to cut my losses quick. So, um, uh, so maybe I'll work on that this weekend and I'll send you all an update. So uh, stay tuned, I'll have more to come, but hopefully this thing will run down and uh, we'll continue. But once again, we've got this hidden divergence here that you could see, we've got some hidden divergence here. RSI is increasing while price is dropping. So this may push price up uh, intermittently for a little bit, but we know the overall trend, uh, if you obviously the overall trend on the four hour is bearish. I mean, that's a huge bearish, wow, that's a huge bearish candle. I mean, price could easily go down to, uh, oh, that's even a little bit deeper than what I was saying. I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to probably go down to here, 3,300. That's the 3,300 I mentioned, right? So that could be the target, the next target at this level, 3,300. Um, but price could actually work all the way, you know, come all the way down to 32,873 and then push back up. But let's start with an immediate target, a close target of 3,300. But what are targets to us? Because we're always keeping a runner, right? We're not hitting a target and closing. We're always keeping a runner, right? So um, it's good to know where it's going to go. But for me, it's irrelevant because I'm going to keep a runner anyway, right? So, um, but that's where I would suspect price can move down to. Maybe not in the next, not in this four-hour candle, but maybe over the next few candles. So there you have it. This was a crazy, crazy good move, and you know we are, we're up. So. I'll keep you posted and I'll drop another link soon. Thanks for everyone for joining. Much appreciated.